what is Google Merchant Center and how does it actually work? So we have, think of Merchant Center as a data warehouse for your product information. So this is where Google holds all the details of your products, your titles, your images, your prices, your product descriptions, the colors, the material, all the information that Google needs to run Google Shopping ads, it holds in Merchant Center. You also have Google Ads. And so this is where you're going to run your Google Shopping campaigns and your Google Ad account is linked to your Google Merchant Center account. And the product information that is housed in Merchant Center is passed through to Google Ads so that you can run Google Shopping campaigns and then Google Shopping will pass some information, clicks, impressions, conversion sometimes will push that information back into Merchant Center so you can see some of that information inside Merchant Center. So how does Merchant Center fit in with your website? So your shop, whether it's Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento, whatever, all your product information currently obviously is sitting inside your shop. So how do we get that into Merchant Center? That is where the product feed comes in. So when we talk about a product feed, what we are essentially talking about is a file that contains all the product information that we are pushing through to Google Merchant Center. This can be a CSV file, an XML file. It can be done via an API through an app. For example, with Shopify, you would use, you can use an app to pull that information and to push it through to Merchant Center. In WooCommerce, for example, you might get a plugin and then the plugin will create that file and then push that through to Google Merchant Center. And that essentially is how Merchant Center fits in with your Google Shopping campaigns. What I'm going to do now is jump into Merchant Center and give you a very brief tour of Merchant Center. So here we have a Google Merchant Center account. This is an account that actually is has, has stopped running. The website has been closed down. So it's quite a good example to show you the kind of diagnostic information that you can see inside Google Merchant Center. So this is the home page where you land. You can see we have free listings, shopping ads, dynamic remarketing. And each of these has a little graph showing you exactly how many products are approved. That's the green. They're active and approved. That's the green line. We have um, orange items which are expiring. So that means that within the next few days, those are going to become inactive. Um, blue items are pending and red items then are disapproved or inactive. So you can very quickly see when you come into your Merchant Center account exactly how many products you have. And if, for example, if I wasn't aware that this product, this website had been shut down and I came into this account, I can see instantly that we have a problem and that none of these products, any of the products in red are not going to be showing up in any Google Shopping ads. In our menu on the left here, we can see if we click on products, we can go to product feeds. And this shows where, um, you know, I mentioned that we have a product feed that pr pr we produce a product feed file that holds the information that gets put into Merchant Center. This is where you will see that field. That field. This is called Content API because it is using a Shopify plugin and it's using the API to automatically keep the that product information up to date. Okay, there are things called supplemental feeds where you can add additional information to your feed. I'm not going to go into that right now. You can go to all products and then here you can see all the products that are included in your feed. This list will include both active and disapproved products and it gives, you can see all the information here. You can change the columns to, to see which, you can have various different columns that you can see here. You can click into a product and then you can view all the product information that is held inside mm -hmm. Google Merchant Center for that product. The image, the description, the title, um, whether or not it's approved, any technical information, the item status. So this one, as you can see, it's it's the website is not running anymore. So it's an unavailable landing page, the prices and all the product mm -hmm. information that we have in here. The diagnostics tab is another place to go to obviously, obviously see what we saw on the home page. You can also at the top see if you have any feed issues or account issues. So that would be normally where if you've got maybe a, a suspension warning, you would see that under account issues, there'd be a little flag up here. If you scroll further down on this page, you can see uh, the reason for any disapprovals or errors or warnings. 
Obviously, I know exactly what the problem is. There's no mobile page because the website's not online anymore. So this is all information that helps you keep your product feed in a good state to keep as many products active as possible. Now, Merchant Center, when you come into Merchant Center, when you're setting it up initially, there are certain things you have to do. That's not for this video. You have to tell it what your website is. You have to claim and verify your website. You have to add your business information, your name, your logos, all uh, shipping information, tax information, if that is relevant for you. But all of that is held inside Merchant Center. And then this information, this product information, when you link it to your Google ad account, gets pushed through to Google ads. And that allows you to run your shopping ads, your performance max campaigns and your dynamic remarketing campaigns. So hopefully that's helpful to explain exactly what Google a merchant center is and how it works if you like this video please hit the thumbs up it really does help my channel and if you know anybody else who'd be interested please share and let other people know about the video and um, if you have any questions pop them in the comments